Okay, so here is the Print EXP controller software. This basically communicates with your printer. So if you want to change margins, um, move the print head, do cleanings, nozzle checks, that's what this is all here to do. Um, all these settings came also set. So I did change the margin, I believe. Um, everything in here is set and the technician if he needs to go in here he will so if you may want to allow them to do that if you can't be up at those hours I will do it for you but I have to charge for the time to do it that's another thing I want to do is push people directly to the company to let their technicians handle it um, but you, you will have to be up late hours of the night sometimes if that don't work for you then you can pay me to do it it won't be much I'm not looking to get rich off doing it but I do need to be paid for my time and then also if you need any extensive training we can set up some time a couple hours and do over video some training too and I will be charging for that as well so it's business we got to get paid for our time but you will get the help that you need and you're covered on both ends. A lot of you guys want to do this stuff on your own, which is fine. And you, sh you shouldn't need to pay $15,000 for a, a printer for, for training. So whatever you did pay, if anything at all, would not be nearly as much as me trying to sell this machine for fifteen grand, get you financed and sink you right out of the starting gate with so much I mean you guys seen print exp before most of you so it's really not much to it you don't need to really touch anything all of this is set out of the box and then here is the rip software um, very easy you can set your canvas here as a color manager object manager is really nothing to any of this stuff you don't need to mess with any of this this is already set as your printer you set your canvas how you want I did mine 12 inches by 31 inch height but the the print width is 12 inches so you can go in here and change it to millimeter cm and all that good stuff you just really bring in your picture on import and like it saves as a tiff so we bring that one in and then if you want to see your spot channels this is what we set up or percentages the higher the percent the sticker the thicker the sticker so currently I have it at 80 and 75 I'm trying to play around with these this changes based on artwork they said you don't need to mess with the density but you can go in here and tweak and play with these settings to your leisure um, that's done and this is already set up as a spot channel I'll delete this and get this out of here you do need Photoshop however but I have created an action uh, right here that adds the two spot channels so if you I forward it to the company too I don't know if they're gonna give it to you guys but in the event you get this printer and you don't know how to new use Photoshop or you want to make it easy I already created an action and the action uh, you basically just click it your photo go to channels and run the action and it will add the spot channel to it and we'll just call it rename tiff because that's how I have the spot channel set up and you just save you don't need to change anything and then you would go into the rip print software and hit import downloads in the PHL folder TIFF rename bring that bad boy right in hit original size it looks blurry but it's not going to print out blurry like that it's just not the best image and then that's done with the spot channels and then you can print this puppy right off and it looks great uh, you hit print when you hit print it'll tell you uh, here you set it you can set it to TCIP and it will print directly off the network 
you can set these three passes, 8, 12, and 16 is what you pick. I've been doing everything on 8. I tried 16. I really can't really tell a difference, so I'm leaving it on 8. And then you click print, and you're good to go. So that's that side of it uh, software-wise. And, I mean, it's, it's a pretty straightforward path. The printer prints. Um, I'll try and score you some video of, of actually watching the printer print. I'm from here and then that'll be that I hope you guys uh, like what you see I'll do a separate video of applying it because there are some things that you need to know about applying the DTF so yeah you guys have a blessed day I'm out so I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to print out of rip print I didn't set anything up like I said this comes exactly out of the box but um you just go to your job manager we'll do a color flag pick it it's right there and then print hit start print and as you see the printer will start no print exp or anything I'll get on the other side of this thing I did one but I'll let you see this one. And this, this prints this out in about two minutes, but it'll give you an idea of roughly how much it prints. I want to say that's about two inches. Maybe slightly under, but. And it's no varnish, so the space is shorter, but give it double this space in between the print for the varnish because as you see how this varnish head is here just in front of this first light but real quick and easy you can see how clean everything looks beautiful the blue looks good and like I said eight passes what I like to print on. It's very clean, very easy to use. Just do your maintenance and print daily and you'll be fine. Alright guys, 